It's Holy Week, that time of the year when we deeply ponder the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it's not that we don't ponder that during the year, but this time we, we specifically consider the journey that Christ must go through for our salvation. Today's scripture passage, Christ uh, is offering that last supper with his, with his friends, knowing that one will betray him and the rest will just scatter out of fear. Their, their vows of, of strength and their vow of courage to be with him always falls flat. He knows this. He knows he'll face the horrid, painful journey to that cross alone. No one will be on that cross with him. His mother and friends, the women friends, and his good old buddy John will be there but the rest will be gone. This is a, a very, very physical, emotional, and spiritual undertaking that he must go through alone. And he does. And he, he asks God, Father, I know this is why I came. But there is deep fear, Lord, in my humanness. That if there's some way that I don't have to do this, please help me. But Lord, I believe. I know I'm here. Your will be done. All of us have gone through our own moments where we lie in the crucible of between faith and fear, where pain and hurt and agony and betrayal are part of the supper we must eat, our last supper of fear. This week, walk with Christ. Understand that the, how we have, have, have sanitized his, his crucifixion is not the truth of, the, of what happened to him. The profound pain of nails being pounded and pounded into your flesh, through your bones, and hung there. bleeding, naked. The cross was an instrument of torture. Christ rose from that instrument of torture and made that instrument of torture holy. It is through his suffering that that instrument of torture was made holy. During this week, he will kneel and wash the feet of those who betrayed him, knowing they will run away. Their fear will overcome their faith. And yet, he held their feet in his hands. He watched the feet of his betrayers. You and I, this, this week, and hopefully, rest of our lives will love one another as Christ has loved us. And we, when we question, why should I forgive? I was so deeply hurt and betrayed. Maybe so. But Jesus washed the feet of his betrayer and loved them anyway.
this week, if you can, every morning, know that God has a journey with you and ask him if you will. Oh, Lord, my precious Lord, what are we going to do today? 